Hey, I'm sitting here with Don McCauley, and we were watching uh, Monday afternoon's training. We were doing uh, doubles. We started out with doubles on the snatch. You can see they're doing one from the floor, one from the hang. Do you use that exercise much, Don? I usually do. Uh, parts of the year, I like to do it when we're building strength. I uh, do my program, as you know, a little differently than you. But, uh, yeah, this is a big one. I, I, I like the double here. We do, when we do doubles and triples, um, you know, my feeling is that the longer the athlete has the bar in their hands without putting it down, the more of a, of a strength builder it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is, uh, this is strength building time. And you're, you know, obviously you're always interested in technique, but, uh, this has the strength, strength emphasis on it. Um, there you see James Who's Tatum. That? James Tatum. He's yeah. the newest guy on our team. Yeah. Did you notice how when he caught the bar, he tried to kind of catch himself halfway down and then descend? Yeah. And that's, I know we, you and I have a little different opinion on that where you like to see people do catching high if they can. And I prefer to see people catching in the hole, at least until they're a pretty dang proficient lifter. Yeah. I, I've always kind of taught the, uh, the the squat as something that you reach after the weights get uh, get heavy enough and uh, I'd rather t I'd rather teach higher catch earlier and uh, go to the squat later and let it develop. Well, there you see yeah. he's doing it yeah. doing it higher. He does but it higher. The other thing that I notice on him and I was talking to him about this in the workout was he tends to catch on his forefoot and then switch to the heel. I don't know if he'll do it on this mm -hmm. this rep here, but watch for that because yeah. that really hurts his balance. Yeah. Yeah. See, he dips his shoulders in when he's going under and he goes to his forefoot at the same time, which go hand in hand. But you should be trying to get your hips down like that rather than lean forward with your torso yeah, Kevin, any more than you have to. Kevin does catch well. Yeah, he does. A little in the front. Well, that wasn't near as no, bad as some of his lifts are. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, he he did it. You'll see him do much worse here before the before it's over. Before the day's over. Yeah. He's a, he's pushing through the front of his foot too much. You see his heels lift early, even though he goes back. Uh, he really goes forward to catch. He leans again. He leans in to catch too much, in my opinion, and that's a nicer catch. Mm -hmm. He went to the forefoot too early on that oh, second miss. He's notoriously bad from the hang. Oh. Kevin is just, he just has a very difficult time pulling from the hang. That's pretty good for as tall as she is. Good position. As you can see, as the weight goes up, he's starting he's to jump forward. Starting to jump forward, yeah. A little bit more. As I remember, Kevin tried this weight two or three times, and each time he made the first, missed the second. Yeah, he pulls, uh, he doesn't get the bar coming in towards his hips on the hangs uh, very well. It goes pretty straight, so he has to go go after it a little bit. That's mm, same. That's if I remember amazing. right, yeah, the That's one thing John, good. John's bad. good from the hang because yeah. he, consistently gets the bar moving in even though it's yeah it's from the hang he does and he sits right down you know wednesday which we don't have wednesday's training on here but wednesday john did 136 for a set of five mm. from the hang yeah that's real good real good right i can see that's a big difference between him and kevin it's just you can see on uh, see on her last one too the when her hips came forward, she went forward until her four feet and it threw the bar away a little bit. Let me see. That's not bad. That's John. Yeah. Yeah, John, when he goes under, he brings his hips down. He you know, he just That's... he really drives his hips to the low point. Yeah, that was 146 for a double. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit forward, yeah. And he's jumping forward. Yeah, that set was yeah. a PR for him. Yeah, he's for a double. But he's he consistently, consistently 
yeah. moving his hips forward yeah. as the bar comes from his knee to his hip. Right, right. When those knees go back under, you've got to watch that the hips don't follow forward and make everything get into the forefoot too much. This is 158. Oh, he, yeah, nah, just, wonderful camera work, wasn't it? It was great camera work. It was a close lift. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's not bad right there. From the Once we did the doubles, we went back to do uh, triples, second and third one from the hang. Yeah. With a lighter weight, of course. He's, yeah. He's forward, forward. That bar is not coming in towards his hips on those. Well, he's going out and getting it. He makes them. <laughs> yeah, he makes them because he's, he's strong. just strong as hell. Yeah, he really is. And same here, he's slowly working his way forward off the platform. And John, John does a nice job right there. Yeah, yeah Nate doesn't reach up with real authority like he should here. He, he kind of, you know, see that head craning and all that stuff? Doesn't look like he's putting enough up pressure on the bar. He's kind of waiting for it a little bit. Oh, you know what? I, I, I misspoke there. It was Monday, actually, that John did the set of five. It was with 137. Um, he's going to miss the last one on this set, even though he looks like he had it in the bag. And then he comes back and makes it on a second try. Yeah, just barely, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, John, again, when he goes under, he gets his hips going down when the bar is still moving. And ah, the, the, oh, camera the camera man, man the camera man. It's a little earthquake. He makes it on this one. <laughs> My problem is when they're really struggling at the end, I get more uh, more preoccupied yeah. with watching the lifter than holding yeah. the camera right. Yep. I thought this was a pretty nice set. That's a good set. Yeah. Yeah, John keeps his weight balanced over his feet real well here. Yeah, real well. One thing about John, whenever he does a good lift, he's gonna let you know about it. As you saw right <laughs> yeah. there. He I always thought he's kind of a shy kid. Maybe, no. maybe I've got him confused with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, James tends to do the same thing in the clean, where he, he, he when he comes down, he doesn't come down with authority on his heels. He's kind of first yeah, in the, he, yeah. front of the foot and then rocks back. And He's got a good sense of how to lift. He's uh, a little straight with his pull. Bar doesn't come in real well. And he, he again, he waits for that. He waits for that feeling of the bar to, to make his catch instead of just reacting and putting pressure up on the bar. And the jerk, too. It was a little tough. How tall is she? 5'10", I Five think. 5'10". That's not a bad jerk. Move forward with the front knee, but boy, that's not a bad jerk. You should have seen Jess um, there a year ago. She had a lot of trouble with that front knee just drifting forward. Yeah. And she's worked on it really hard, and she's gotten an awful lot better. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty solid jerk for a, a woman that tall. That's <laughs> that's a jerk. A real solid jerk, yeah. 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 Always. I think a... you're going to see his hips rotate forward a little bit mm -hmm. at the bottom of this jerk. Oh yeah, yeah, sure he did. And that's that makes yeah. it so much tougher for him than, well, it, than it needs to be. We, uh, you know, he wants a, it's a, a natural thing for the body to want to get on the quads and get on the forefoot, uh, but you've got to resist that when you're doing the jerk when you're starting the, the drop. And that's a nice clean. Get up. If I remember right, he made 175 for a double on Monday. This is 72. I think this was actually a PR, and then he went on to make another PR. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, get up. Got a solid jerk. Boy. Yeah. 
I'll tell you, you know, Regis Becker did a great job with Kevin. He yeah. he did a very great job teaching Kevin how to lift. I mean, he came to me with, I think it's pretty dang solid technique. Yeah. Yeah. He, see, he makes this, but he got forward. Oh, he doesn't make it. Okay. He got forward on his foot and that clean too much. Not like you're not strong enough. The bar's just out of position to stand with. I think Caleb Whitby will have to go up and wait a fair amount in both lifts before he actually becomes not strong enough to, st to yeah. start missing missing reps because yeah, he's not strong enough. Just meeting him, he's a he's a real strong guy. Um, that was not a nice shirt. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no. He uh, Tom gets you know he, he's he's clean and jerked one eighty five I believe is mm -hmm. his his best, but he definitely at this point's doing it because he's just real strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're talking about James's jerk. He has some pretty solid jerks. That's not bad, right? There. In in this workout and Wednesday's workout, mm -hmm. he had some pretty solid jerks. I mean, the the ability is there. Yeah. Um, he's just not hitting it every time. It's just a consistency. But I he impresses me. Oh, he definitely impressed me at the uh, tryouts. Uh, no, I thought he was uh, one of the best there, and and I had never seen him, and frankly thought he was a little older, but uh, he's a kid. But uh, he needs to learn to sweep the bar a little better at the start, and it's gonna it's gonna help him. Believe more. it or not, John's gonna make this jerk. I think. I hope he doesn't make a liar out of me. Well, he made this jerk because he had to do it to beat it. No, oh, he no, didn't. Not that one. Oh, I must be thinking of a different. This has been five days ago, and I'm getting older. Yeah. Memory's about gone. Now, once in a while, I notice with him that when he comes off the floor, he gets his he gets his chest. Yeah, or he, yeah, he gets his torso bent over a little too soon, too much. Uh, sometimes he comes off real nice. Which, I'll tell that, you. That's better. He's more upright in that second one. That's trouble standing, though. Huh? I was actually really happy, Don, yeah. I, uh, that he made this because... Oh, that's a great jerk. Yeah, because he's had a little dry spell yeah. on the heavy cleaning jerks. He's been clerking some weights. Yeah. And, you know, just... Some things that probably shouldn't be happening. That's a good solid jerk too, right there. Yeah. And anyway, it was great for Kevin to get a couple of PRs. Yeah. I mean, I was just. It was a good. That he needed to get a couple of PRs. It's, it's nice to yeah. have. It's nice to have that solid jerk at the end of the lift. Yeah. You really. You, you know. No, that's not bad. John, from this angle, John always looks like he has a bent arm. Yeah, and yeah he's got a funny arm. It's got the, especially the one elbow, it just doesn't, from a certain angle, it does not look like it's straight. The thing John does here, nice, uh, is again, like he does in the squat, is his hips descend and come up. Pretty good shape. Although that time he made me a liar and went forward on his foot a little bit. Yeah, that's a better position. That was a better. He kept his chest up nicely coming off the floor there, and that's just easy. I think one thing that you know Kevin needs to is he's actually better than he thinks he is. You know, it's like he surprises himself sometimes by yeah. making certain lifts, and I'm thinking Kevin, you, you could be making ten kilos more than that, and he's like feeling like that's you know his maximum. Yeah. He looks like a real strong kid to me. Good lifters build. That wasn't a bad jerk. That was straighter up and down than he, you know, he does have that uh, little hip problem at the bottom of the dip once in a while. Like there. Yeah. Drifted onto his forefoot there. Well, you can see that when he does that, the bar's a little forward to lock out and he doesn't have as good of a lock. It has to be. That's a strong guy. Yeah. Since Donnie's not doing the same program as the other guys right now, he's uh, not really in the training videos that much. But every once in a while when he does a big lift, I'll mm -hmm. switch over to him. Um, this was Monday, so they were doing sets of five on the back squat. I think I only got maybe just this one set actually on video. But that's we did the same thing on... Same thing on Saturday. Mm -hmm. He just sets a five on the back squat. Yeah. 
And that's uh, that's the end of Monday's training. Um, they did two. Uh, they worked up to a max for a double on snatch, one from the floor, one from the ground. Then did three triples, one from the floor, two from the hang. Mm -hmm. And then on clean and jerk, they did clean, clean jerk up yeah. to max. Um, came back and did clean jerk, clean jerk um, for three three doubles. And then here we are on uh, Friday or Saturday or Friday, excuse me, Friday's training. And what everybody did on Friday was just maxed out. Um, Wednesday we did more doubles and triples. Yeah. Um, as you can see, there was a 130 already there by Caleb. Here's 135 mm -hmm. by Kevin. Yeah. 136 by Caleb. Caleb Four on his foot. foot. Yeah. 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 Actually, um, what's this kid's name again? James. Uh, James. I think you're right. I think he could go down better than he goes down. I think he. Um, I just don't think There's he's a little hesitation there. It almost uh, yeah, like, it, yeah, he's, yeah. He's hesitating halfway down, right, yeah. right where his thighs are about parallel, right yeah. where it's the hardest yeah. right. to hold. No, he's just not as comfortable with the with the deep position. Yeah, and that's you know getting getting into our difference of opinion on whether or not you should go all the way down when you're a beginner. That's why I tend to think I have beginners go in the hole all the time. Because I want to get them comfortable in the bottom position. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm fine with power snatches and things like that once they're past that learning stage. But I really like to get them comfortable, expecting to go all the way in the hole on every lift. Yeah, a lot of times I like to get them to go in the hole by putting the bar up on blocks, something like that, and just putting, you know, making them go from there to the hole. Just because uh, I think newbies, to me, uh, the whole thing can be more complicated. Uh, to learn right away. So um, you're saying like lift from the from the high blocks. Lift from the high blocks, okay. sure, and then go to the go to the low position on the catch, almost because you don't have time to do anything else. Right. And no, that wasn't bad. Camera work wasn't great. <laughs> well, we won't uh, we won't say too much about that. Well, that was way far. You can see, you can see it's he's, he's throwing so, himself. He's throwing forward. himself around. Yeah. 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 The amazing thing is the guy, the kid snatched 150 like yeah. that. Uh, when he gets, you know, just a little bit, a little bit better yeah. on his positioning, what's he going to lift? Oh, you no, know? I, he's, a, he's good for quite a bit more, quite a bit more. Same thing forward on that. Just does a nice job um, for as tall as she is and as new as she is at lifting. Oh, her, I mean, bar around. you can look at, look at her bar path oh. and say it's, Again, the, the camera work. Yeah, that's very good. This well, is 155 here. This is a artsy. pretty decent lift. Yeah. Yeah, John just, he gets those hips back down to the low position on going, when he goes under. And it's a, it sets his torso upright so nice. That's just forward. Yeah. And again. And way out in front. Not a bad jerk there. Well, the, the, the big, yeah, it's, that's a weight tonk and probably yeah. military press. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the one thing that, you know, it had to work with a Tom is to get that front foot out. Yeah. He wants to short step with the front foot and basically mm -hmm. push press the bar up. Do you ever talk to them about with their front foot uh, putting their heel out there rather than just putting the foot out there? Because I use that. I mean, I just touch. Uh, Say get your get your heel forward, not your I, necessarily a foot. I do if they're having trouble getting the foot out far enough, mm -hmm. I will tell them to make a sound with their front foot and yeah. try to try to literally slap the floor. And I think that probably accomplishes the same yeah, thing as the heel. Right. Um, but it's just said it getting at the same problem from two yeah. different angles. Yeah. yeah, you can see how high his heels lift up for no particular reason. It's just his hips are now I saw the hips go forward on that dip too. Strong, little delay at the top there from her. Just, yeah, so just has yeah. done that. Well, this is pretty heavy for her. Though. And done that, right? and done that. Yeah, this is eighty-five kilos. Her, yeah. her all-time best is eighty-seven. Yeah, that's not bad, you know. Considering. Um, I started to say this earlier, and it got sidetracked. But people look at Jess's bar path, and I constantly hear she's banging the bar out in front, you know, from the floor and everything. But the fact of the matter is, with her height. 
it's it's difficult to navigate those knees. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, with that length, it, it's going to be difficult. A little soft on the catch there. Makes the catch though, and he's up. He's vertical when he catches it. And that's also not bad. Let's see. What's John get on here? One sixty. Yeah. Not bad. He went a little forward in the dip. Just drifted a little bit forward. He wants to point his chest up at the ceiling when he goes to drive. He's got yeah. to remain a little more forward there. That's not bad. That's 88, which yeah, is one kilo be. over her PR. She yeah. backs out of this one a little bit, okay. pushes it a little forward around her chin, and, and then backs away from it. Just a little bit. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's, there's too much forward and back movement on those hips in the dip, in the transfer to the drive there. They're moving around instead of just going up and down like a piston. That's pretty nice right there. And that's that, was, that was straight. Yeah, that yeah. was pretty straight. That's... If he could dip and drive that straight every time, he'd, be, yeah. he'd make, have a higher percentage of like His back was against a, a wall on that dip and drive there. And that's a better chest position for him than that when he's, his torso is facing more forward. Here's 180. This is a this is a good training lift for him. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's made more, but they were they were definitely tired this week. Mm -hmm. um, it was definitely a very very hard week volume wise, and I was glad to see him pull this one off. Yeah, he's got that good jerk. Boy, he put, and puts since, a lot of. Since he made eighty, of course, John had to go eighty one. Well, of course he did. And since Kevin made eighty, of course, he was going to make eighty one. You'll notice Caleb has 180 on the bar over there while mm -hmm. John's doing this lift. Mm -hmm. He completes the lift, and Caleb loaded 82 before he did his lift. Exactly. So he had 80, 81, 82 in succession there. Yeah, makes that. But, yeah, he's got that little drift with his hips. A little loss of energy there. This this jerk didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you oh, yeah. my God, you're psychic. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Yeah. I think this is the most he made on the day. That's and that's bad. a, yeah, that's I, was, I thought that was pretty nice. Yeah. It's not bad. Pretty good position. Kevin's going to clerk this one. I thought it was high enough to make. Just he just hesitated. 85. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. And that's forward. And that's not bad. Got it hit by it a little bit. Little press on maybe. He's attempting <laughs> and John's one, one and leg. One, well, it's good to see camaraderie there. there it's you nice. go. Now this uh, is a nice lift. He had to fight for this. This is eighty five to come back and wow. and kind of did a better job on everything. Did a better job. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. That's nice. Caleb has a nice uh, job overhead. He has no uh, no shortage of fight in him. No. no it's just, just brutally strong. <laughs> yeah, Tom said that the, the bar was slipping on him, so I gave him a dry shirt. It was one of my old WFW shirts with Texas on it. So, of course, well, the Texas on the shirt. That gives you five kilos well, right there. Well, this is exactly, I think, five kilos. Yeah, more. there it is. You yeah. see that? Yeah. Than the last, I think and it's so always worth five he, kilos. He was gonna, he was gonna show us the, uh, show us the shirt. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Well, that was uh, we had nine training sessions this week. That was two of them: Monday afternoon, Friday afternoon. Um, and I want to thank Don because Don was kind enough to come in here and and assist with uh, helping some of our guys out today. And uh, thank him and his wife Suzanne for coming in. And uh, well, thank you for us. having us. It was fun. Always good to watch good lifting.